So that, I knew that was gonna be a problem, like especially with managers, like right out the gate, you know, it's like, no, 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 I want, I want my sellers selling. Like I want my customer success people talking, talking to customers, right? I want my technicians, you know, doing what they're supposed to do. And so, you know, I, I didn't wanna hit that up front. And so um, actually the example is, is when I rolled out Udemy um, was there was a good six months of talking to leaders and managers um, and really figuring out like, what are you trying to solve? Like, where are you at? Um, what, how do you even view training? Like some managers are like, I'm for it. And some were like, eh, you know? And so you had to kind of gauge that. Um, but we built it into, so we, we do quarterly reviews and um, we have managed objectives that we, we reset and, and monitor every quarter. Um, and we've set it as a company policy that every employee across whatever goals they set, at least one has to be around personal development. And it doesn't even have to be related to your job. Like, I wanna go learn to knit, like in whatever it is that they wanna do. And we worked with the executive staff to segment a specific amount of time. Um, so every employee within our organization gets 20 hours a quarter um, towards one of those goals. And um, more often than not, it is Udemy content. Um, or they'll come to us and they'll say, hey, I have this idea, this thing that I wanna learn. Um, it might be as simple as us giving them an ebook or you know, maybe more people have asked about it, so then we do like a lunch and learn around it, but um, that kind of goes back to that whole consultancy part.